Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, we'll be learning about how to squash commits. Now, the only prerequisite to this video is that you must know what exactly a git rebase is. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I'll give the link to that in the description below or you can click on the card that would appear at the top right corner. Now, if you know what exactly a git rebase is, then squashing commit is just a cakewalk for you. So you can say that squashing commits is basically an extension to the rebase command. Alright, so what does exactly squashing commits mean? So suppose you have a large commit history having different commits. Now you can squash several commits into a single or a selected fewer commits. Now I'll tell you what exactly mean by this in this video. Okay, so at first let's understand what exactly do I have here on my working directory. Okay, so we have some messages. Now each message represents each commit. So the first commit message represents the first commit and second commit message represents the second commit all the way till five commits. So if I go ahead and type git log and a one line flag, you notice that we have five commits and each commit represents each messages. Cool. Now with that being said, let's squash all those commits from third all the way till fifth into a single commit. With that, I mean that instead of all these three commits, third commit, fourth commit and fifth commit. I want to squash these three commits into a single commit, say third commit or something like that. So at this point, it is imperative to understand why exactly do we squash commit? Well, we squash commit to make our commit history look much more cleaner. So say, suppose if somebody is having a look at your commit history and if, if they find so many commits, they might be actually get spooked out. So in order to avoid that, you might want to squash couple of commits you know if those commits are meant to be same but you actually accidentally committed as two different commits or some, something like that in those cases we squash commits cool so in this case let's squash the from the third commit all the way till fifth commit as a single one commit now there are a couple of ways to do that the prominent way is by using a squash commit and the second way is a tricky way where actually we can hack the reset command that we learned earlier and we can manipulate it to commit the others as a single commit. Now let's go ahead and apply that hacky method. So as I told you right now that you can use a reset to do this to uh, squash commits together. So as I told you I want to squash commits from third all the way till fifth. So in order to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset to the second commit. So let me type git reset and pass this commit hash over here and oh by default this reset is soft reset git automatically sets it for you and hit enter now you would notice that now if i go ahead and type git log you notice that i am at the second commit and if you remember correctly what soft reset does is it will take you back to the commit where you wanted to go while keeping the working directory as it is in other words what it did was it took you to the second commit and it unstaged all those commits above it. So if you go ahead and see here, all the commits that we did third commit, fourth commit, fifth commit, all those became unstaged and you have to now commit it again. So if I type git status, you'd see that we have a modified file, which is this file. And now I can go ahead and type git commit dash am uh, third washed commit something like that and if i go ahead and hit enter all these would be now committed as a third commit as a single comment so if i go ahead and type git log one line you would notice that now we are having only three commits and these three commits got squashed as a single commit okay so why do we even do have the second method which is actually used to squash commits when we can have and use reset to squash commits. Well, I'll tell you the advantage to it right now as we explore the, the second and the most popular way of squashing the commits. So let me go back to the initial working state. So for that, I'll type git ref log and let's actually go to the fifth commit. Oh, there it is at head two reset and a hard reset to that. Okay, cool. Now we are back at the beginning. All right, so now let's explore the official way of squashing the commits. Now the official way of squashing the commits is via using the rebase command. That's why I told you at the beginning, remember that you must know what exactly rebase is. And I actually covered a video on that. You can go ahead and check it out. Now the way to do a squash commit using rebase is what we call as the interactive rebase. Now to do that, simply type git rebase dash i. And here comes something that you need to understand. Now remember that we did a rebase to another branch. 
well you can rebase to a certain commit as well just like the case we had with the checkout remember we can also check out to individual commits now here instead of passing the branch name we would pass the commit hash from where we want to bring about changes so as usual we were going to the second commit so let me go ahead and paste the commit hash and upon hitting enter notice what happens now here it opened me an interactive interface so let me go ahead and pull this up okay now notice that we have all the commits which are after the second commit right so we have the third commit the fourth commit and the fifth commit now you can also see that there is something like pick 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 if you go and look at the command glossary you can see there is something called a squash now if you look at the definition squash means use commit but meld into previous commit so we can actually make use of this command to squash the commits into certain commits okay if you want to edit this press i it will actually show you this insert label over here which means that you can actually edit now let me go ahead and change this to something like squash what happens here is that by definition it says melt into previous commit now squash what it does it will merge this fifth commit into fourth commit so which means that wherever you have mentioned a pick and if you mentioned squashes below it all the squashes will get squashed into as that commit so fifth commit will also be a part of this fourth commit so what happens if i go ahead and do squash here as well now this means that the fourth and fifth commit will be squashed as the third commit now just notice what happens if i do a squash here well you can see there's a red you can say some sort of a filler highlighting which means that there is no previous commit so we have to choose it as pick only now let us understand what exactly i did here so git interact to rebase allows you to squash certain commits onto other now here we are squashing fourth and fifth commit into the third commit it says suppose what i want to do is i want to squash fifth commit to fourth commit what i can do is i can directly go ahead and do a pick over here and only fifth commit will get squashed into the fourth commit but our objective is to squash the fifth and fourth commit as the third commit now let me go ahead and save this now to save it press escape then colon and type w can hit enter okay so now you can see that a new prompt has appeared and let's save it now if i go ahead and type git log dash dash one line you would notice that we only have a third commit let's go ahead and if i check out the second commit say by typing git log one line and let's copy the second commit Control c git check out this and actually bring this down you notice that we only have this much and if i go ahead and check out the third commit let's type git log one line again okay so we have the second commit let's go back to master check out master and let's go ahead and check out the third commit let me copy this git check out and let me paste this now you will notice that all these three commits which were actually individual ones are now squashed as single commit okay so uh, remember earlier at the beginning i told you that if the advantage of using rebase i instead of the normal hacky reset method well i think you might have got the point why i said that well in reset you only can consecutively squash all the commits say for example if i have something like 6 7th and 8th for example now if i use a reset from second what it does is it will unstage all these and we can just commit them all together now while using rebase what i can do is say suppose if i go ahead and do a pick here and over here if i go ahead and do a pick and if i do a squash and a squash over here and let me actually do the same for here as well now what it does is we can actually squash 8th and 7th commit into this 6th commit and we can squash 5th and 4th commit into the 3rd commit. So we can actually define how we want to squash the extra commits to match your cleaner commit history or as per your definition of a cleaner commit history. Alright guys that's all for this video. I hope you really uh, enjoyed this video and if you really enjoyed make sure to support us by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel you can also support us by spreading the words to others who really want to learn more about git and other tech stacks also this would help us to grow as a new channel and we would be gladly able to help them who are in need as well all right guys see you in the next lecture